That time she was with me when I was out of jail. Many people don't know. There was a time people had rejected us and were saying so many things about us. She stood with me. She strengthened me. in secondary school and I had no money. I was in secondary school in the city behind Rubangura and Apakop. And she said, God, you like to I'm also, I'm also confused because you're, you're also speaking Kikuyu that is greater than what you actually speak. God knows how to rescue his people. The wallets. There was only dollars. As he's crying, I'm also looking at the money. That's where my heart is. Uh, it is so valuable to the point where we can find the right words. Uh, Thank you for answering the call. Uh, Especially, uh, we met in 2012. Yes, we met in 2012. From that day until yes. now, we're still together. Uh, um, among the people that know me very well, Pastor is among them. She knows me when secondary When we're still in secondary school, when we're still young. Now we're men. <laughs> Did you hear that? Uh, the delay on that. It is such a blessing to welcome you here. Above all else, we honor the calling over your life. We honor the anointing over your life. That is why we have prepared all of this to hear and listen to what God has uh, put, put inside of you. I have so many things I can say about Mama Julien. A lot of things. It's a lot. It's a lot. She's among the people that have a great role to play. When you see Jackson preaching today, she has a great role to play in my life. But especially, she's the one that exposed yes. my calling. Yes. I honor it so much, Mama. And we love you so much. When I'm sad, she's the one I run to. Uh, when God talked to me about starting a church, she's among the people that encouraged me greatly. And it was, it was hard for me. I, I saw no direction or vision. That time it was very hard. But she stood with me. She supported me. And she strengthened me and now I'm strong. As you see me here, I'm very strong. I thank you so much for what you have done in my life. I went through a, a, a time of a period that was hard. She's among the people that comforted me and helped me out. I 
There is a time I thought it was over. She knows. Thank God that my wife is here. She also knows. She spoke to us. There is a time she came home and she spoke to us. All of that is something that contributed to my calling and that I am who I am because of that. So, Mama, I love you so much. And I respect you and honor you. And in these days, we are ready to receive what is going to come from you. I have just remembered so many things she has done in my life. Some of you guys don't know, but there was a time it was hard. I will give that testimony. That time she was with me when I was out of jail. Many people don't know. There was a time people had rejected us and were saying so many things about us. She stood with me. She strengthened me. And she said, move, move on. All of that is such a great job that she did in my life. When I was going to start a church, we talked uh, in the office. in the office for such a long time. We met at 11 a.m. and separated at 6 p.m. Mama, you did such a great job in my life. That is something that I honor. She called me and she said, go and start. One of the special things that she spoke word about her. And she said, May divine speed be upon you in the name of Jesus. I received that word. Mama, that speed has worked. A church of seven months. Today, just see for yourself, you can't understand. Amazing. Seven months. I go to see her a lot of times to advise me and to pray for me. Sometimes it is beyond your understanding. But when you have a place where you can pour it out, it's, it's, it's good. I honor the calling over your life. As a church spirit revival temple, we are ready to receive a new season. God is truly taking us there, that's why we prepare this conference. And the Spirit of the Lord is convincing me that you're the one to give us a blessing. She did not uh, uh, struggle with. I did not struggle. No, and now she's here. So, Mama, to the table, we are a new season. We are ready to receive a new season through your anointing. It's the spirit revival temple, and the divine speed. The church, a uh, spirit revival temple with uh, divine speed. You, that you prophesy divine speed. To the force that you are going to this speed. We also uh, desire to receive a new speed. To the force that you are going to we desire to be ushered into a new season through the anointing that God has given you. We also need to benefit from it or partake of it. Yes. And we love you so much. Thank you for coming and it's not because we're special people. It is such a blessing that we're given. We honor you. We support you. And you have done well to come and minister to this. Place.
twese muhagurutse ku maguru yacu Then Mary took a pound of very costly oil of spike nard, anointed the feet of Jesus, and wiped his feet with her hair. And the house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Uh huh. Umwe mu bigishwa be wendaga kumugambanira aravuga ati niki gitumye aya mavuta atagurwa idenario 300 azi ni giciro type idenario 300 ngo baya bazifashisha bakene icyatumye avuga atyo so kubabarira bakene ahubwo yari umushura kandi niwe warufite umufuka w'impira akibi byo babikagamo ariko umuntu wakwiba Yesu arubahuka sha urubahuka wa mugabo we nuko yiba Yesu soma verse 4 murongo wa kane simbuka basi kwira mwanya soma gatano gatano why was this fragrant oil not sold for 300 denarii and given to the poor this he said, not that he cared for the poor, but yes. because he was a thief and had the money box. He was a what? He was a thief. Thief. Yes. Mujura. Gatarina. Chan. He was a thief. Yes. And he had and and had the money box, and he used to take what was put in it. So yeye gafata mu. Akiba. Akajira ngwezu na gwebi mo. Good. Ngiye gukoresha umwanya utaribuze kuba munini mvuga ku ku jambo Imana yize ku mutima iki gitondo. I'm not going to use a long time but I'm going to speak about the word that God has put on my heart this morning. Yes. Iyi nkuru yonge iramfasha cyane. This story has helped me again. Ndaza gukomeza kuvuga ku mutima umenetse cyangwa ku mutima ufite inzara y'Imana. I will continue to speak about a heart that has the hunger for God. Yes, mugakiza hari ibintu byinshi cyangwa iyo bavuze mu Kristo umuzi Yesu wita wumva a lot of things ibintu byinshi cyane. In salvation there is so many things when they talk about a person who knows Jesus Christ you hear so many things. Hari ibintu byinshi hari imirimo myinshi tandukanye iyo bavuze aba Kristo mu gihugu turi above 90% yesu yemera ukenda kwijana hari ibyo gusanga bifite imibare miki ya twebwe turabakirisite pe. We are truly, we are 90% to the country. We're so many people. So when you hear Christianity, you hear a lot of things involved in it. 
kuza kukugira inzara n'inyota by'Imana ngurufunguzo rufungura ibintu byose ushobora gushaka hagati yawe n'Imana I want to speak about the hunger and thirst of, of seeking God and the key that can get you to all the things that you desire from God mfite muti muvuga ngo iyaba twari twara narabyize kera I tell you hari ibintu mba narasimbutse hari amaeskere mba narasimbutse hari speed mba naragize kera I have a heart that says had I known this earlier there is a speed that I would be on there is some things I would have skipped over umuhanuzi witwa Yesaya a prophet called Isaiah muri 55 ku murongo wa mbere in 55 verse 1 he had a vision and he saw people who had the thirst for the kingdom and he said continue coming and drinking with no uh, paying a price and then on verse 3 he says why are you giving all this why are you struggling to go and buy the things that are not going to quench your thirst I in that chapter he, con he continues by saying that money is something that distinguishes you from other people it is distinguishing you because it shows you that you have money and other people uh, you are separated from all those people Whatever you do. When you have when you have money, no matter what you do, it is shown that you have money. Whether you, you have a broken car, whether yes. you have you put on the clothes that you, uh, might show people that you're not a wealthy man, whatever you do, your children are going to go to the good schools. And also if you are poor, whatever kind of makeup that you're going to put on, we're going to know that you're poor. I used to know how to pretend with no money. I know how to pretend. But no matter what I did, it, was ex it would expose you. I was a worship leader in Rwanda for Jesus, those that know, know it. I lived far away from the church and I would put on high heels whenever I would go to church. I would try to do everything in my face. Now say that it exposed me. But it truly exposed me. It exposed the one who cannot be exposed or ashamed. I've learned that what I don't have, I don't have, and I don't struggle with it. I tell you, to come, I will teach you. I don't try to go to the places I have never reached. Where I haven't reached, I don't struggle with it. And where I am, I also walk in that same place. I was in secondary school and I had no money. 
I was in secondary school in the city behind Rubangura and Apakop. There was something that was happening. I was in Rava 2 and others would come in cars they would be parked at the school. I would walk in my, with my two feet to Rava 2 and I would continue walking fast. I was not offended because that's where my parents were, that's where we were. And he helped me very much in my youth. I was a girl that was very principled. I would get there. Others had their lunch and had nothing. I'm not going to ask them. in the mood of eating chocolates and I'm, I'm salivating let me, let me not disrespect you when I would take a piece I would inherit the smallest piece and I'm going to a small piece I would cut the whole thing and I would leave a small piece. Just, just, just so I don't disrespect you. that where I am in life, where God has been working, that is it. When the, trend, the phones were trending of uh, touch the phones, you cannot understand. I take my small phone and I would be clicking on it. One said, what are you doing? I said, I'm reading my messages. That's how I would, I would comfort myself. Then I came once at church when I was going to lead worship and had to my story. In the morning, I had nothing. I had to, to lead two services. And I told my Lord, I know that your ways are many. Now because there is nothing in me, do whatever it takes for someone not to see that I have nothing in my stomach. And the Lord did it for me. If you're there that day, it was a big church that had sinless people. I had determined that what I don't have will not stop me from being What I haven't reached will not be in the in the way for me of the love of Jesus. I have. Where I haven't reached, I'm not going to be sleepless. To have sleepless I will wait patiently until. That day I was Kenya. There were guests from Kenya. They were wealthy. I 
I was worshiping with my high because it was it was a high issue now I didn't have any balance and then I, so I looked at the drama guy and I looked at the other one come on of course those that saw it and all the many as, as I started worshipping the spirit of the Lord came upon me and my language changed into the Kikuyu language I had never crossed the border that enters into Kenya God takes you there. And then they have to do it. They were, they were understanding the language I was speaking because I thought I was praying in tongues. They came when they knew they were about to auction his houses in Nairobi. This man thought that I came from the same country because I started prophesying and telling him because of the issues that he had that now my child I'm with you take heart this is going to happen as you came into my work I'm also going to be in your in your things. I'm after the surf, surf, the first surf, I was just doing signs and I said, I can't hear you. I said, Please speak Swahili because I cannot understand if you thought I could hear him. He, he pulled my husband. He said, what is, why is she pretending? Isn't she from Kenya? She hasn't even crossed the border. And then she said, God, in life has spoken to you. I'm also, I'm also confused because you're, you're also speaking Kikuyu that is greater than what you actually speak. God knows how to rescue his people. As he's crying, I'm also looking at the money. That's where my heart is. I wanted him to continue crying so that he doesn't know how many uh, he's counting. kept saying that's how God speaks that's how he speaks what did, he was counting. Change it. He knows how to change your history. 
I had so much hunger in me. You have never starved. I wasn't even listening to the testimony. My heart was on the money he was counting. Then God has spoken to me and then he put it in my hands. next to you, may you never be poor. Curse poverty. The one who was a poor became poor so that we can be rich. We don't have any relationship with poverty. You have no relationship. I said you have no relationship. You have no relationship with poverty. Listen. If you study with He doesn't start from our education. He was a poor. He became, say it with your mouth. He became poor so we can be what? That we die badly. That we stay there wondering. That we die like us hoppers. If you become poor, it is not your inheritance. Gold and silver is his. Everything that is on the mountain is for him. Do you know how Ezekiel stood in the dry bones and connected one bond with another bone? And then I tell this, this leg to go into the leg because he's a God of order. When you are a prophet, you prophesy for your teeth have to meet the chicken. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. There are some creatures that were created for one bond to meet another. Is there any sacrifice that was vegetables in the Old Testament? Please find any festival that was a sacrifice in the Old Testament. There are no sacrifices like vegetables. The God of heaven. They will put meat there. And then the aroma would go up. And then he will smell he will say, yes, that one is cooked very well. Now we are putting spinach and vegetables. Because of life it is good. But the meat, the, the bone has to be another bone. The, even the teeth are bones. It needs to meet the, the, the leg of the root. That is why even the anointing is increased. Now, Listen to what the heart said. What if he, he, he takes it back? What if he takes it back and remembers he doesn't have a ticket to go back home? He was still, he was still there wiping away the tears. 
I was like the ushers come out of my way because I don't want to come out. I kept counting behind the house and what you're counting they've already given it to you that is how the enemy lies to us even what God gives us it seems like it's a miracle that we've received it I worshipped going up and down it would have never felt fallen down tell the person next to you and curse poverty say I pray for you you are never going to be poor even if, even if you come and strangle me I would have gone with, this, with that money then they brought it there the small ones of your country. I don't know where it went. I was outside, I said, now call the worship team because now I'm going to speak German. I said, now today, Lord, I'm going to speak in Chinese because I had so much strength. Went back to the old. Then I tried again. It didn't work again. There was not even any chance. Because what he wanted, he has already reached it. What he wanted to give me now my question is if I continue to complain would I have gotten it no one has ever encountered God when they are seated in complaints everyone that encountered the Lord moved forward they were stepping forward facing their issues and troubles What do they do? What will they do? Let me come back to the hunger of God. The hunger of 
hunger of God currency. It is among the currencies in the realm of the spirit it is a currency that works in the realm of the spirit that can buy the things that you would have never bought I haven't spent a long time in this ministry or, or a short time 26 years standing here here knows how to say their words. They speak. There are people who know how to speak and when it gets to the Bible, these things of, of not aligning things very well. I was fed up of doing anything that I can do that doesn't have any result in this ministry. Let me tell the truth, I got to a point where I was fed up. At 18 years old, I was a pastor. I was called a pastor. I was preaching to people that were over 800. So I've seen things. I've seen things. I got to a point where I was fed up. These things we come, we gather, and we don't have any results. I was fed up with it. I got to a point where I was asking God, do we really, the Jesus that we talk about, is he alive? Is he, is he alive? Is he truly alive? This is that is it true or is it not true? Is he alive? The things that he did with the apostles, is it there? Is it possible for the people from outside to desire the church? And I found that it was true. And I asked the Holy Spirit with my heart, I remember where I was. And I said, where does it get wrong? Because we have spoken. People are singing. People have done so many things. But if anything, we continue becoming a reproach into this world. Why is it that the church, that we are just covered of your, your own? Why? Why? to pray somewhere that evening that's when I remember that I've heard that so many times. and the Lord said uh, and the, and the, said, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ I was seated with him I don't know how the Holy Spirit and I followed those words the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ
so that if he steals no one else I had turned and I saw him because the sister had begged him to come in the conference he came and he sat behind I don't even know what they called drugs drugs turned and I saw this young man was there. I felt like my heart has turned around. There is no grace here. Really? He was eating gum and, and I said there is no grace to take this young man and shake him. I had so many tears in my eyes. We're speaking about the grace and he's making bubbles with his gum. As I was telling the sister, are we done? Let's go home. I went home when I was really bad. Just in the first church, they died. In the first church, I want you to hear the power of the presence of the Lord that was in that first church. And we're also operating from the New Testament. Every day. Results. Doctrines are being born every single day, but the results are not there. But we're talking and talking all the time. There I want to mention Is this gentleman really good? He went out because he had a no he said goodbye to the servants of God. Say the peace sign. Read the peace sign. And I also looked at him and said, What can you do? Because you don't have the power to change them. You have to do the same. Yes. And I asked God, is this still possible? And he said, yes, it is possible. And I remember one day where I was. I remember one day where I was. 
three days. I go kumus wakabiri. Nicha ya musi cho yiti amalida mnesh. Ungiri mana watu tabai watu tabai watu kiri ya. Kutwa gasi zi. I spent three days. Kutu vuzi. Uzi kuara mara adi ona vuzi mazina ihera mugi tondo mufuga mufuga mufuga. Ava hunda fata ya time. Ava hunda vuk. Tuara vuzi. There is no change. Change had enough. We are Mama nuka bara ati he na vuga ni wafuze sha nuka gasha kakuva ati 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 mana ni vuse busenga kwa hone ya ejira hano arazara ni ejira arambira ni mana wuni mutima wa ati uzi ati inzara imana na hombiheri ngokwana ati inzara ufiti imana wabuye kufunguzo kufuri kusha kabjusi. This woman said that the thirst and the hunger you have for the Lord, you have fallen onto the key that opens every single thing. And then I went on to the scripture that I've been reading. That is the way. He said that I can leave everything. David said that I heard that his heart broke. It opens the mysteries into the kingdom. It is the master key. I said it is a key that you open and each God looked at David and he said, I've seen a man after my own heart. This is a man that keeps his eyes. The influence of the Holy Spirit. David knew the, the value of being under the influence of the Holy Spirit. That is why he said, Do not take your spirit. This woman said, God has told me that you. She revealed the issues that I had. Let me tell you that you have already taken the key because you had so many issues. You did not pray for them, but your prayer was, Lord, reveal yourself to me. All that, that is the key, the master key that is going to give you everything that you need. Listen to, to the tears that I cried. 
Then I started crying. Said you have left every other issue that you have, and you said it is you that I want, Lord. And I said, she said that you have the master key now. Now I found out. Let me tell the truth. I am a witness that praying for you, intercession is important. No one saw God. Imana presence yayo iri hari nta yindi presence y'ikindi kintu kitari cyayo cyaguma muri presence yayo the presence of the lord is so unique to the point where there is no other presence that can Baro remain kwe. standing nabo inzo zimbi ugira n'injoro zakomezanya nawe wabonye presence y'Imana the bad dreams are shabara kubikanira mu cyumba kimwe they cannot remain when you have the presence of god you are seeing me because of the light. If they turn it off, the presence of light means the absence of darkness. Presence of light means the absence of darkness. As simple as the presence of darkness means the absence of light. In other words, these two things cannot stay in the same room. It's impossible. Now, I'm a witness that seen reports that had impossible and then the next morning they become possible transfer transfer half in india and millions of money. I had an issue and it was requiring millions and millions of money. I hadn't gone to any place. The place they were asking me to go this time it was to go to India. And I realized it wasn't going to work out. I already knew the master key. I only took that one road. I know that if this one is present. In 2018, I was in my house. I was in my house. I was in my I in I was in I was in there was no hope. No, 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 I 
know that my king had already been involved into that situation when I found my child was able to sleep for two, three hours. The one they used to say that they wouldn't even know that I was their mother. He looked at me and he said, Mom. I said, I didn't go to when God has come, He doesn't come in a small speed. When He doesn't operate. so that you can make an operation that is not like any other person. Jesus. So how do you do I'm going to go I'm going to go to the doctor. People who are very anointed to discourage There are people who are anointed to discourage I don't know who has anointed this person. Go to what it is. Just accept it. He also glorified to the place where you were ashamed. We entered into the office. And he had And he asked. Oh, good morning, doctor. And then the child entered and said, Good morning, doctor. He had already wounded me. Can I please wash? Use wash. And I'm as a sensual person. I found you. And then I told him I was coming to tell you to resign. And I said I have done it too. I was giving him glory. So this is yes. Just waiting for the time you're going to encounter the one who, who created heaven and earth. There is no limitation that can happen to a person that encounters God. There is no border. There is no border. Impossible. Since when? 
that we have people that be with us even if they use whatever when you have encountered God even if they remove all the clothes you nothing will happen to you if you encounter the Lord we're a people that is we're a holy nation we are special the Bible says we are special people Special. We are people he has chosen. Was chosen people. We are people. We are special people. We are special people. We have a label that says we touch, not. touch not. On my anointed one. Stand up on your feet. Look at you. You are a labor that says, Do not be that. know that your father's things are yours as well. Is it not? You just go. You just go. go into the pocket of your father. A wife that touches her husband's pocket. And they have left it in the room. We are drinking tea. The mother's amen. The mother's amen. We know how to count very well. When you know the mystery of your father in heaven, you are going to take a step and you will pick for yourself. And that is the truth. Just step and you take what is yours. I have come to know that the knowledge you know about your father becomes a magnet. My people perish. The Bible says, Lack of knowledge. Lack of knowledge is the demon that you have once you know it's your magnet. Knowledge becomes magnet. Knowledge becomes magnet that is going to connect you to what belongs to you. Because knowledge uh, reduces all the all the struggles that you would have used, all the efforts you would have used, and that is the truth. I was visiting different churches, and recently I saw people. I had just gone to visit different places, but what I saw with my own eyes, I 
bizamfata umwaka kongera I saw things that is going to take me a year to process them, but I was encouraged in such an amazing way. I visited one church in Ghana and then I went to other churches and I went to Nigeria as well and I visited the churches. I saw people that have the knowledge of that man that we have believed. Pastor, it's unbelievable. I saw women and I wondered if they bleed just like me. I saw people that would have a that you say that I'm going to take a motorbike, those those people would say we're taking our, our private jet. Let's fly and then do what? Two women that say let's fly with our private jet. Yes. And I thought it was their joking. A person who gives a gift of, of a play. Who did they, they gave it to you? I saw people and things what? were just going around uh, I, I visited a place called Canaan City Canaan City The servant of God called uh, David Oedepo I saw things and I said now let me just sing people give and you wonder their billions that's when I knew that we've been stolen there is a spirit that is behind this so that you can remain on that level I'm telling you the truth this man we met in the city of Abuja. There is a church I was going to call Koinonia. This man went and looked for a bag of money when he saw me. And I said, I'm tapping into the anointing and I also stepped in there. I'm going with I'm a farang. Woman of God. I need that grace. I thought it was just a Christian from that place. When I asked the profile of this man, he's living. He said, I have everything, but I don't have the grace to pray now. This one brought hot food. Food. Hot food. And I said, continue putting there. And I wondered if this money was mine. One said, I swear to God, I'm receiving that grace. No one sows into the good ground and then leaves uh, empty hands. I was just wondering mm -hmm. what is happening. Biggest church, sanctuary. You what? This is our Nijana Kunyabi. It is Nijana Kunyabi. Banzanda Kanura, they were parking in Hector is English. People come out and then you feel like you're about to faint. 
Would you refuse the money? Ari kumvi chosha kufuga si chumari mo bara kora na si gani chiva so chifuga ngo u ichi chinu ni gichi. It's not the issue of what they're doing. Ichi chinu ni gichi. Ababa na taku ba nanza kufuga profile zavo. David kundi buli kamera. I don't want to talk about their profiles. Iwa abo na ba nuba kome. 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 Iwa These people are people that have great profiles. If I talk about them, you're going to be wondering. The, my people perish because of what you know. What you know teaches you what to do. Yes. hospitality ama carte ya 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 business card mubisama ni mwami wa mami uri kitare jikomeye mana yanje mana yanje we naririmbya supreme yamazamuka beneda nsanga ni senior pastor we told her the names abantu ibihumbi bitanu We're making the body of Christ. Turaba Christo. We are of Christ. We are making the body of Christ. Do you know what it means for a senior pastor to stop the services? To come and serve other pastors that are not, that are not from the same church. That is the highest level. Be The Bible says that those who are boastful, the Lord finds them. 
but the ones who are humble he's going to give them free. I wonder what if God stands up yes. to fight this woman yes. God himself I'm talking about God when God has what would you do if he fights you the very first time when God showed that when he was fighting the people he doesn't like the people who are boastful who are prideful there is a person who cannot post the, the, this conference's uh, post flyer they cannot post they, they, they are posting they are helping their church to, to, to develop or move forward I want you to understand the level we're at. Just if was a post. Because there are some that you fellowship together, they're going to attack you. This shows you that we have lost the heart of the kingdom. Because we no longer have the thirst of God, we seem like we're building the kingdom of God here on earth. We are all servants of God. We are all servants of God. She went to the feet of Jesus. She clung onto them. Lazarus came. Martha went to cook some pilau. The people of Bethany are just coming to cook. A man who has resurrected Lazarus. Those from Bethany, they Marita, their season. And Martha is still Lazaro yarangaye. Lazarus is distracted. Those that were able to tap into the season were Mary. In the time when Martha is... Maria. Maria. Martha has uh, Mary has gone to buy the most expensive oil. Maria, Mary, where are you? Lazarus is there. He doesn't even like a friend. Like a best friend. Martha is trying to impress. She's Maria! The oil that she had gone to look for was very expensive and not so much value. Then they saw this woman came. And the thing that kills you is because you are so fast, you are so quick to answer people. She didn't say anything, she kept quiet. She brought the oil and then put it on the feet of Jesus. And then Jesus accepted. These men were working with Are you the one who has worked with in the kitchen, Martha is still screaming and They are missing their time of visitation. One voice. 
Mary is only listening to one voice. So her heart and her, her everything is on the feet of Jesus. The hunger and thirst is for Jesus. Let's go to the feet of Jesus. This is a season of ignoring each and everything that has been calling upon you. The people in the kitchen, those who look around, it is a season to be at the feet. And then Judah was complaining. Ignore those voices while you are responding. I'm too expensive. The hands To the point where I don't respond to any voice that doesn't have any value. I'm too busy. Who's the child? At the feet of my king. No. I don't have time to respond to these people. What I'm going to get from these feet is going to respond to them. Then Jesus turned to the disciples and said, Why are you are you a torturous woman? Anytime you choose the best portion, Jesus defends you. Every time you choose the feet of Jesus, stop defending yourself. He's your greatest defender. He defends you where you're not. Give them a few days. He's going to come back and he's going to defend you. He is your greatest defender. He told you this. Why are you torturing this woman? And then in other words, Jesus was telling them, this woman is doing this because she has understood the season that they're in. Season. She understands the season and prepared my body to be buried. You have missed your season. You went, you went to feed the belly, now she's feeding the heart. When you, when you understand the season, you don't give Jesus on the belly, you actually give them in the spirit. When Martha was preparing the table, Mary was shading tears. Jesus and Mary were exchanging and they entered into the spiritual realm, but they were surrounded with body Let me end by telling you. And Jesus was telling Mary, Why are you saying Anytime you choose the feet of Jesus, you don't the, the portion that you get from there will never be taken away from you. The portion you get from the feet of Jesus. Even the one who doesn't want to applaud, they will applaud by force. Even the one who doesn't want to see you, why will they flee from you? What we get from the Jesus. 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 Jesus.